it's the heart of who I am. It's the reason why I'm here. Like uh, students, this generation of students that we are raising up, they're so important. Um, and if we're going to continue to have healthy, thriving communities, if we're going to help to build uh, bridges uh, to new areas and, and new depths and, and new horizons, uh, we know uh, of all the different things that kind of go on in our society. Um, our d diversity has always been a peak piece of who we are. I think our kids grow to deeper depths because they're able to touch elbows with students from all over <laughs> this area. Um, and it's not just about skin color. It's not just about, um, you know, money, but it's about experience. So when we can bring all the different experiences together, whether it's your favorite foods, whether it's where you've traveled before, whether it's traditions that you have on different holidays, when you bring all that together, it teaches our students how to be great when they go out into the world and how to be able to be relational with people, how to win students uh, for Jesus, which as a Christian school, that's a big piece of ours. Um, and so I think that's the biggest piece about diversity for us is that um, it helps us to impact the world in, in a greater way. Uh, and that we're not just uh, singularly focused on just the academic piece, but kids know how to hold conversations. When they leave here, they know how to empower uh, their communities. Many of our students, when they go off to their colleges, they're able to start Bible studies in different groups because they're craving that because they've seen it here, and they're not afraid to reach beyond just who they're used to. Students see other students, students see adults, students see families from a variety of walks of life. So it's by no means perfection, but students get exposed to really what the real world is like and a bit of what heaven is like. Not saying that it's glorious all the time, but we're told that there will be every language, every nation, every people in heaven. And so students get to learn what is that like? Fast forward to where we are today, I just listened to a webinar where in the webinar, some international companies and governments are considering offering as part of education what used to be considered the old-fashioned fin finishing school. Because people aren't used to engaging with and learning from a diverse culture, they've lost the ability to be polite and empathetic and articulate and listening skills. And those are the things that these students are learning that governments are starting to think about including in life, in education. And they've already acquired that. And that was true when we were here. And that is true in the current day. In fifth grade, my teacher was Mrs. Scott. And every Thursday, she would let us pre-COVID play board games up in her room and that was when we like invited other people outside of our friend groups to come and play and we would talk and that's when I started like really making friends outside of my friend group and I feel like that was with a lot of other people too so we all started to connect and we brought that up into seventh grade. I definitely would say from the outside, that's different from any other, especially private school that I've interacted with, is the diversity in socioeconomic status and race and ethnicity. I mean, you can look at literally any class in this school and see kids and teachers from all over the city and the suburbs. And I think that's a really like unique part about Eastbrook Academy. But it also isn't so glaring that you feel like there's this group of kids and this group of kids and this teacher in a classroom. You don't really notice it. You notice it when you first walk in. But then if you watch the kids interact with each other, they're just friends, you know, like they don't feel like, oh, this is such a, a unique and diverse place. Like they're just friends because that's the atmosphere that they've created here. That you know, so many people in this community are coming from so many different places, right? But both geographically and also based on experiences and based on socioeconomic status and based on race and and other things like that. That um, that you know, there are a lot of situations that you could end up going sideways and do often end up going sideways when there's a lot of difference between people or people don't feel like um, like they're they feel like somebody else is an other from them. And I just really have not seen that as much within this community as I might've expected in a, such a diverse community, right? So just that combination, kind of the, you know, the the classical education really focusing on the whole person, right? I think that really that is something that I see 
in the staff at this school kind of throughout my time here that we all truly do care about these kids. We all really truly do want to see them grow. We want to, you know, help them to build a vibrant and authentic faith, right? Not something that's just knowing the right answers, but um, actually, you know, a, a walk with the Lord and an understanding of how to apply your understanding of scripture and your understanding of, of, uh, of what God wants for your life and for us as Christians uh, to um, just our daily interactions with people. So it's, it's really a wonderful place to be. I think that being one of the the core pillars of the school diversity is 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 important. I think as as a not just as a country but as the world evolves and grows, it's it's changing. The way things look is changing. And I think it's really important for kids to be able to engage with people who don't think like them, who don't look like them, who don't act like them. I think it helps you grow in your character and your integrity. And as a family and be members of this church, we've been able to experience that. 